they asked me what my favorite country is, most beautiful people. I said Sweden. You know okay. what I mean? The blonde hair, blue eyes, and, and you one of them type. Really, you just from Russia. This is very attractive to am me. I, am I that type of guy? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You heard that in the back? Is it dripping? <laughs> Roger, can we get a towel, sir? Because I'm taking her there. My Atlanta is different now. I play tennis. Yeah. I'm in the gym in the morning. Yeah. I can get paid a lot more having a real job yeah. and, you know, being actually contributing to a company and because uh, I've, I've always been in sales. I have no fear, Mr. Organic is here. This is Organically Speaking. Anybody out there want to do partnership, sponsorship, clothing, brand marketing, you know, water, energy drink placement, whatever you want to be a part of Organically Speaking or Mr. Organic as a brand, hit me up at ball or nothing else at yahoo.com. That's my email or DM me directly at Mr. Organic on Instagram. That's M-R Organic with a K instead of a C, one word straight across. And we're going to get that promo game through the roof. Three, ya. Now go ahead and get another one. We're going to let you double dip, baby. Huh, Raj? No, it's fine. She could double dip. Yeah, it's good, huh? Wait, this is really good. Trust me. It's the Dude, best of the world. in the morning for like... Of course, put in your smoothie or just eat, eat a couple scoops and you're good. Wait, this is, this is really good. Yeah, it's the best. Wow. And we got we got like 17 different flavors. This is nothing. It's going to be worth a billion dollars. You, you got to, you know what I'm saying, one of the entry level understandings. You know what I mean? Blessings. This is really good. This Thank is you. the first podcast where you come on. Yeah. And you're not offered a glass of... We don't tequila or if you don't know about me, Mr. Organ, I never drank alcohol, smoked weed, and did a drug in my entire life. That's amazing. That's why they call me organic. So I don't participate in those type of debaucheries. I don't go to clubs. I don't do none of that. So you live in Miami. I live in Miami. I lived in LA. I lived all the top places in the world that don't you know what I mean, I'm here for money. I ain't here for all that. You know what I mean? You've never been to a club? I have. I ain't been to one in the last seven years. I got it all out of my system. I'm forty two, so I done did it all, seen it all already. You know I saw mean? that video where you said I'm Six five, I'm forty six, 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 42. Six, 42. With what that ten inch. Say? Yeah, yeah, you said yeah. With the like with the, the girth, don't leave the girth off. <laughs> it got girth. It ain't just yeah, long. It was such... <laughs> <laughs> we already record, man. Oh, I remember, I like someone sent me that video. I was like, man, <laughs> there's some confidence right there. And people get mad at my brutality of my confidence that God gave me and my hard work. I don't understand why somebody get mad at me for being happy that I worked hard. and well, Because they can't do it. Yeah, if they was in this cyborg, they was Terminator, right? And they could take my soul out and jump in this. Oh, how crazy would they go? They could beat me. Oh, you know what I'm talk saying? talk about that. That's another topic that we can talk right. about. Men who are over six feet and how they act and how they waste their potential. Right. You got to live like I'm a 1% human being. You guys, you guys are talking about something. Yeah, we already <laughs> in there going. We get all this, man. You know what I mean? What is it? Chelsea, London, right? Yeah. Okay. Such a stupid name. It's all right. It's a good porn name. That well, so because I, I used to do only things. I know we're gonna get into all that. We're not gonna. Well, we don't gotta go too deep into it. You gotta. Hey, it's the world now. No, so I can get in trouble for that. Oh, you can. We can talk. About, let's not name anything. We can talk about the industry. Yeah. But um, because I'm back in corporate and they almost fired me for this shit. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah that's so true. it's it's a very like edgy topic. Oh, okay, we just talk about girls that do it and we can you know what I'm saying we gotta go directly to you. Yeah, we can we can talk about well, I guess it's if it's the past, because I don't have it anymore. It's the past. Yeah. We go talk about it. You don't tell yeah. me this organically speaking, this shit, right, Raj? It's just the thing is that someone snitched on me yeah. in corporate yeah. and we they, free over here, this organically speaking. No, 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 but it's still something that pays my bills. <laughs> The bills. You might need to be free. You, you good at this. You know what I mean? This is going to be your freedom. That's, listen, that's, that's one thing I want to do. Come on now. You're dealing with one of the ones, baby. <laughs> you get nothing above this. It's impossible. You know what I mean? Well, let's let me know when we ready, Raj. We getting everything in court. Get, oh, yeah, get that peek behind her. You know what I mean, what's, what's your Instagram? And tell me your Instagram and all that, too. Um, Chelsea London. Chelsea with S-Y-A. And what else? What do I do? They gonna tap in with your Instagram. Uh, yeah, tap in with my Instagram. What mm -hmm. I do? I model. I play tennis. Yeah, we see how you playing tennis. Yeah, I'm cool with a top level tennis lady. I met her on the plane. What's her name? Christy. What's her fucking name? She a she a legend. You you pay attention to like tennis your whole life or no? Um, mm -hmm. not really, but I've just randomly posted a video of me playing tennis. Yeah, and right. that. Start blowing up. I'm like, I got millions of views on my yeah. videos. It's just like when girls play golf. They know when it's time. Chris, Chris, Chris Everett. Christy Everett. Christy Everett. Christy Everett. I've heard that name. Yeah, she won the most legendary tennis players of all time. She was number one for years. 
That's my home. How old is she? She old. She was in the 50s or something like that. Oh. That's my home skillet. We was on a first class, you know, flight, chopping it up. Of course. She was cordial. She seen. She smelled my charisma and smelled the cologne. You know what I mean? She was enthusiastic <laughs> to touch the arm. You know what I mean? I put that arm out. She was like, God damn. Have said, you played ever? I, I want to I get in the pickleball or was it or the paddle ball. I, my knees, I can't be doing all that. You know what I mean? But that's why you don't do that. You play tennis. For real? Yes, because pickleball is something that will mess up your body. It's 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 so small and yeah. it's so like it's very Back quick forth, movements. Like but you also don't like yes, you do need a technique, but you don't like tennis is a very technical sport. Yeah, and it's a lot of like your shoulder. I could kill arm. it. I could. T- I'm the number one in everything I've ever done, so I know I devour it. I would say tennis is because every person that I've spoken to who played pickleball, yeah. I played myself too, but I played with like a seven year old, and like if a seven year old can pick it up for the first true. try, I want to be number one in the world. I could really be a tennis ball professional if and I. And people start. go like pro with. In months. That's what I'm saying. I could be a professional t- yeah. pickleball and go rule the world. But uh, have no fear, have no fear. Mr. Organic is here, and this is organically speaking. Listen up. I always tell you guys, we don't have rare and regular people on here. We just have real, 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 real rare and legendary people on here. So this woman is six foot two, tall. She's from Russia. You know I love my European whites. Because they asked me what my favorite country is, most beautiful people. I said Sweden. You know okay. what I mean? The blonde hair, blue I eyes, and, and you one of them type. Really, you just from Russia. Yeah. But you look like that. So we got Chelsea London in the building. Hi. Hey, look <laughs> good, baby. You know what I'm saying? Hey, tell me your name, tell me where you're from. Break it down for me. I'm Chelsea London. I am from Russia. I've been in the States for about eleven years now. Okay. So and I do I do a lot of different things. I no one knew that I played tennis, but I've been playing tennis since I was four years old. Really? Yeah. Okay. And so that was actually the reason why I stayed was tennis. Mm. So um, I was taking a class in school, and uh, the, the the coach saw me, and he was like, you got to be number one on the team. I'm like, no, 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 I'm bad. And he's like, no, 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 come on. Yeah. And they trained me, and then I was number one on the team. Nice. That's dope. Tennis is the, like a, a legendary sport. I wish... More people where we from did it. You know, we got Serena Williams and a couple people. And when we do, we're going to do it at the top level. But uh, I imagine if all of us guys that played basketball and football was out there with tennis and going crazy with it, oh, man, we'd kill it. Yeah, we'd but tennis, it. it's such, like I said, it's such a technical sport right. that you need coaches. And if yeah. you don't have coaches, it's expensive. Yeah. People are lucky. The, the, the guy that I play with now, he's lucky that he knows me because I play with him for free. People yeah. charge like 100 bucks an hour to do that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I can see that, though. But shout out to Chris Everett, one of the most legendary tennis players ever. That's my pal right there. I was on the plane with her, and she, like, runs a program that brings, you know, uh, coaches and stuff to the inner city to help them learn oh. and get it already uh, yeah, acclimated to it. So that's legendary. But anyway, we, we see you, you know what I'm saying? He was on my guy, Finesse, you know what I'm saying, Rich, and uh, Unemployed, Unemployed Podcast. I seen you on there. And we was already corresponding anyway. You said you'll yeah. come to Miami. Bam. I told him I reached out to you before he did. Yeah. See, that's okay. It's okay. But that's <laughs> I, my I brother. Said, I was like, don't bring it up. I went there first. <laughs> but you hit, who you hit up first, though? I hit up you first. You goddamn right. But that's my dog. See, we don't compete. Yeah. We eat together. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Ain't no, no competition. Absolutely. Nothing but cooperation. So shout out to my dog, Finesse, and go watch the show with her on there and watch all his stuff. But yeah, I saw you on there. I'm like, okay, yeah, she understand. You know, one <laughs> thing that stood out the most for what I saw on there, it said that uh, you only date black men. Is that correct? Yeah. Mm. Why is that? Break that down for me, my dear. So, I I don't want anyone to get offended, okay? Hey, but for them. me, this so, is our yeah, come so straight for, from the heart. How you feel about how you feel about us blacks? This is how I feel. I've always liked men that look a little bit more exotic. Yeah. So now, exotic in my world uh-huh. again. You know where I grew up. Oh, I know. Everyone looks like me, but they're also they're not cute white looking man right? okay they're very, they real hard and they're like i always thought that my dad was not like good looking but then when i compared my dad to other man i'm like you know what my dad is six five and he is like he's dark hair like blue eyes yeah. like okay mom i see why he might be a loser but damn okay <laughs> yeah my dad was just never he was never like the man yeah he never had that masculinity in him right. but my mom did so it kind of worked out for them right um but everyone else, like, no. And then I remember, so I went to Australia when I was 14 to learn English. Yeah, Australians love some out there, too. Them white girls <laughs> You know what? I, I don't know meeting that many out there. I know. You're not. That's what I'm saying. When yeah. you go, they want to devour the black meat. Yeah. I'd have been to Australia. They try to eat me alive. 
Oh, I said, oh, yeah, I they think anywhere go, you go, they, they would. They would grab me everywhere, baby. You know, anywhere I go, they want the gig. They want the guy, you know? But it was crazy, Australia. But go ahead, though. No, Australia, yeah, Australia was uh, an interesting place. It's a lot of great people, though. I loved Australia. Um, and then I came back, and so when I went to Australia, I did not speak a word of English. Okay. I couldn't even put two and two together. I, it was just such a bad, bad, you know, English that I had back then. But then I came back and I could speak and I could, I was like intermediate level. Right. And then there are a lot of uh, pro bowl players that would come to Russia, mm -hmm. play back then. Overseas, yes. Overseas, yeah. And so there are like a bunch of people, um, when the NBA had a shutdown. Of course. So I remember I smoked cigar with Patrick Beverly. Okay. And in my mind, I was like, oh, this is just, a guy that I'm smoking a cigar with, you know, I had no idea that he's some sort of someone. Yeah, shout out to Pat. So it was, but I was, I mean, I was so young back then. And you just saw them black. You're like, oh, I won't die. This the ones. I, yeah, but so I Juiced never up. dated when I was in Russia. Right. I never, in my mind, I was always like, I need to be in school. I need to just become someone before I can be in a relationship. Because, you know, it wasn't like, oh, you're going to get married. You're going to have a kid right. right away. But it was just, what's the point? Like, you know. You need to have a purpose, and the purpose is go to school, graduate, yeah. then leave Russia. Like, that was for me, that was since seven years old, I told my mom, I'm leaving. Right. I'm not staying here. Yeah. And so, and then I would see all these people, and then be like, oh, my God, I can speak English to them. For sure. So that's how it started, that I could speak English to them, and I can practice my English. Yeah. But then I'm like, man, they're also so good looking. Like, they're very attractive. You love that. You love that good skin texture, I that melanin. I love, oh, uh, yes. You want to lick that chocolate, huh? <laughs> Ooh, I love chocolate. Yeah, I know you do, baby. Uh, I can tell. <laughs> and I remember when I moved here. Oh my God, it was such a crazy story how I met my first boyfriend. Yeah, tell me about oh it. Oh my God, it I was crazy. I want to hear it, crazy. Girl. Give me everything. <laughs> Don't leave none now. He is uh, he's a basketball player too, of who course. was back in the day. And um, we had, so once I got on the tennis team, my friend, who was number one at the time, and I was number two, and then she was like, you know what? I like this guy. I really like this guy. And it was this like light skin, super tall. I didn't think he was hot. Right. I thought, you like the brown skin. I, you know, yeah. You like I like the real. <laughs> yeah, I know what you <laughs> like, girl. Yeah. So I didn't think he was hot. And there was another guy that was like, oh, I think I kind of like that guy. Yeah. And then she goes like, hey, do you have Facebook? I'm like, yeah, I do. She's like, can you hit him up? Just so maybe like you can put him on me. And I'm like, oh. okay, cool. I'll hit him up. But, I, you know, so I was like, let me find him first. I don't know who that is. So sure. I found him on Facebook. Oop. I added him. Uh-huh. And, um... All of a sudden, he starts messaging me, and I was like, "Right away, who, who, uh, not me, her." Like, but you, but you did, yeah. literally the first the first time we met up, we went to get ice. We were nineteen. We went to get ice cream. Right, and right. Then oh, I was oh like, ice cream play. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, I don't want to talk to you. It's my friend who wants to talk to you, and he's like, I don't want to talk to her. I, I want to talk you. to you. <laughs> I don't want you, baby. I want to eat that thing. I want your ice cream. <laughs> it was. <laughs> It was, yeah, it was, I felt so bad, but then we just started hanging out. Hey, and it just, is what it is. We got along, and then it's just, for me, the conversations that you can have with black men, they're a little different. Come on now, tell them about and it. They need to know this, baby. They're a little bit more, and a lot of people say, like, oh, you don't know how they feel. I don't know how anyone feels. I right. only know how I feel. Right. Same as you don't know how I feel because you only feel what you feel, right? I, I might know how you feel later <laughs> if I'm lucky. <laughs> so, but one thing I can say is, like, I would always connect and relate to a lot of different topics that we would talk about. Right. And um, like my first boyfriend, man, he was um, he was Baha'i from a different religion. He, he never drank alcohol, too. Okay. So he was a very, like, healthy, spiritual person. Like, he took time to get to know me, like, talk mm -hmm. to Like, I remember even when we first had sex, it was so How'd that, how that happen? How'd that first <laughs> sexual encounter took place, baby? I told him, I was like, I'm not going to have sex with you unless I'm your girlfriend. Yeah, do you my girlfriend, right? Literally. <laughs> <laughs> you my girlfriend too. But he was too. like, I didn't want to have sex. I thought we were just gonna play around. And I was like, play around? No. Yeah. And I wouldn't even give him a blowjob until like you ain't sucked six months in. Damn. I thought it was so disrespectful to, to a woman <laughs> to suck on that good Johnson. You ain't you supposed to put that totem pole down. It your was throat. crazy. I don't know why. Why did I? I... Yeah, you don't think that way now, right? Oh hell no. <laughs> you want to go down? Goddamn tunnel of greatness, I know, baby. It was just such a, I don't know what was in my head. Yeah, it's okay. But then, you know, we dated for like three years. It was a very That's dope. back and forth, very like, I was so in love, it was crazy. But of then course. we broke up. I mean, we were kids, we were teenagers. Yeah. And then, 
But we are still, we're cool. We're cool now. As you should yeah. be. Yeah, but once you she's go black. She's in a very happy new relationship. Yeah. She's beautiful. And I'm like, that's that's the one for you. Yeah, that's a beautiful Just, thing. I'm a little too too much sometimes. Yeah, you run bunks right. sometimes. But that's okay. You live in life. You from Russia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's cold over there. It you is cold I mean? over there. But I'm also, like, that's one thing people don't understand that. Yeah. If I made it out, then mm-hmm. I'm going to go all in. You can't just put me in the house and no. lock me in there and just say, oh, live. sit down. You came yeah. here to live, right? It, yes. You got to get it out your system. I got to get I know I don't care if people are hating on it. You can hate all you want. It is what it is. So you, you're just a freelance person as of now. How long you been freelancing? Like, I'm just going to live my life. I ain't worried about people thinking about uh, me. It's been the last two years. Two years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I used to live in California for about nine years. Okay. And then... Um, when the war happened between Russia and Ukraine, yeah. it was such a difficult time because you were just sitting there and you're like, man, I've been lied to my entire life. How sure. can you go and fight someone who is your brother and sister? Crazy. And like, it, it was just such a unreal experience to go through because I'm like, I don't know what have I, I haven't done anything to the world. I was just born there. But mm-hmm. like, I still felt so responsible for it. Of course. And then I went to Hawaii and I was like, sitting on the beach by myself. I literally, because I always travel solo and I was just sitting there. I'm like, man, I need to change my life. Yeah. And then that's when I said, I'm going to move to Atlanta. Because um, Atlanta was just no, a city. That's the home of all the n- That <laughs> land. See, you was in heaven, one not you? God damn. You thought it was planet In heaven, son. but you know what? It's kind of hellish right now. <laughs> no, it's different now. It's different. It's different now. Like, when you went, what was that like, the pandemic time? Oh, that's when it turned up. Yeah. Them gates turned. They, like, they're all the wild hyenas came out. It's, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's like, I don't know. People like don't have purpose anymore. It's just, they're just moving, moving with the flow, but like it's not even a good flow. And I don't even know what they're doing. And it's yeah. just no one has jobs. It's yeah. just it's like, what do you do? Like it's just a scam city at this point. Yeah, shout out to Atlanta. You know, I went to junior college there. It was when I was there. It was like Black Hollywood. It was amazing. You know what I mean? So I almost thought about moving there before I moved to LA. Mm. But when I'm looking at, it, I'm like, that shit got crazy. So I'm not doing that. But shout out to everybody, and let a man keep your head right. I love Atlanta as a city, though. Yeah, for Atlanta sure. is beautiful. Most definitely. And, uh, Atlanta would. My Atlanta is different now. I play tennis. Yeah. I'm in the gym in the morning. You're still there, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. still there. But I'm kind of, you know, I'm in and out. I travel yeah, you're a lot. Time to kind of come to Miami, but I, not, I, not, man, <laughs> I love man. Miami. I know you do. <laughs> I love, and Miami can be different. Miami can be crazy. Miami can be chill. Like this, Miami is chill for me. Right. It, it all depends on how you move. So, yeah. like people here, all you in Miami, I'm like, bro, I don't go out. You already know I don't drink, smoke, none of that stuff. So, what is you concerned about me living in a place that's wild? I'm not no wild person to that degree. I'm gonna live my life and have my fun. You know what I mean? But I don't got to go outside and do nothing that, you know, the reckless people do. Yeah. I'm going to have my fun now. Got to. You but know then you mean? have the ocean here and you have the city. Come and it's on such now. A, like today I was standing on, on the pool deck and I'm like, man, this is such a crazy city that you have the literal city and you have such a beautiful ocean You right always there. feel like you're on vacation, especially where I That's, live. I'm right there on the water. I'm in a beautiful building and ocean view. Every time I would look at my windows, it's crazy. Yeah. And I could go walk by the water every day, jump in the water if I want to. So I can't complain about nothing. And then it's been very, very very good to me, you know, weather wise, but even the opportunities that placed here. So it's true. I love it. Yeah, yeah. So I think it'd be good for you. You'd be more comfortable. I it's feel just, like. man, the price is here. <laughs> man, it's number one now. It used to like go to Florida, you could go save some yeah. bread, especially from LA to Florida. Not yeah. no more. Now Miami is over LA now. My, yeah, last time I checked, it was like fifteen thousand dollars to move into an apartment. I'm like, I can buy a house with fifteen thousand yeah. dollars down. Yeah, like fifteen, <laughs> right? 15, it was Yeah, it's going to be first, last, it's going to be about yeah. that. Yeah, just to get it. So you got to have a bag just to even enter the home here. Yeah, that's Especially them like, condos. I don't know. know what people do for a living to afford that kind of stuff. Because it's also going to, you know. Speaking of do it for a living, you know, Miami is known for, you know, they only fans and that type of content. We got a, a barrage of that here. You know what I'm saying? The beautiful ladies. And you, you look beautiful yourself. I know that um, you thought about, you know, partaking in that one time in the future. I mean, not in the future, in the past, before. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, have you ever indulged in that long, long, long time ago? I did. It was a very quick okay. experience. Yeah. I thought it was cool for, like, first time was really fun. Yeah. But then, I think you get so lost in the sauce. Yeah. And I am more of a, thing about me, I, like, you see me, I'm very outgoing, I'm very extroverted, but then I also, like, I'm such a deep thinker and I like to just, like, I like to read philosophy and I right. like to talk about morals and I like to do a very deep and spiritual things that at some point it got to 
I got to a place where I'm like, people are disrespecting me every single day, and I can't do this anymore. Yeah. This is so disrespectful. The way that they talk to you, the way that they, you know, the kinks that they have and they the things that. that that they say, and it, it's just, it's like, I always, in my mind, the only thought that I had, if you had a daughter and someone told your daughter that, what would you do? I mean, for one, I'm not thinking about my daughter doing nothing like that, so that's not No, but I'm just saying, just as a person, because... Yeah, they ain't gonna think of that, though, because, yeah. like... My daughter better not be over there doing that. It ain't gonna be my damn daughter no more. So I, I, it's not even a conversation that would take place with their daughter. So like, per, you can't. That's yeah. not a good question to ask them, right? And it was, um, it was a very tough conversation to have with my parents. It was a very tough conversation to have with, like, I got a call from one of my friends, and um, and you know, and I'm the person like I do Reiki, I do a lot of spiritual stuff. Like yeah, you I do, do the crystal, one of the crystal holders. Well, I don't do crystal holders. Burn I incense. have, I have, yeah, I burn, burn the incenses. sage. Yes, I do. Hey have. guys, that p- good. She got that. She got that hippie. P- <laughs> I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she got that hippie. She, she go get some crystal holder. I done told y'all about that now. She got some good for I can know that. It's, it was just such a crazy, crazy conversation to have because people called me and they were like, that's not you. Yeah. We know it's not you. But I was just wrapped up in such a wrong thing with the wrong people because right. um, I got fired from my job. Mm-hmm. Like our team got um, dismissed pretty sob. much. Give us that so, sob story, baby. Break it down and for it's, us. Tell it what well, it wasn't a sob story. Oh, it's man, like it's you got to do what you got to do, right? It's a sob story, but and, it's true. And, and, and uh-huh. I'm a hustler by nature, so uh-huh. I've always been in sales. So I'm like, you know what? I can't sell pictures. I can sell so- this. <laughs> 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 they want to see this. Let me get a little bread for it. And I was also in, like, a, not a relationship, but I was talking to someone who was supporting me fully with that. But the, little did I know that uh-huh, what? it wasn't just me. It was a lot of other people that he was supporting. Shout out to him. What's, uh, that's a player right there. I f*** with you. No, but a player is the one who can handle the all of them. Yeah, no, that's a more of a pimp. A player, you mo- you in the back. It's two different levels of this. You well, know it was, I thought he's in his bag, and I thought he is, like, yeah. a very... I thought he was a supporter, but he wasn't because right. it was a competition oh. all along. And it's it's like, no, dude, I'm not competing with you. No, I'm supporting you. You're doing you. what you're doing. I support you, I, baby. Yeah, I support you here, but you disrespect me I'm all saying over I support again. you. I oh. will be supportive of you. I'll let <laughs> yeah. you get all of it. And no, we he go did. The world. He did. But then it was, it's, it's, this is the thing. Okay. He was saying how he's supporting me and it's yeah. all cool. But then every time, and I'm the person, like, if something happens, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you let what it know. is. And yeah. I'll be like, listen, here's a screenshot of what's happening just right. so it doesn't come back to me. For sure. And then I was, oh my God, that's crazy. I'm like, well, you know, someone wants me to fly out somewhere and go get, I'm going to tell you to go get it. He was like, hell no, you're not going. Let's I'm bring, like, bring that bag back to me, baby. <laughs> Is yes. you gonna bring me back the money when you go? <laughs> I was telling him, I'm like, man, this person is gonna like pay my rent and do all of this. Yeah. And the crazy thing, I'm like, well, I'm getting though. I'll get a little something. Can I get a little piece? <laughs> <laughs> but that, I mean, listen, probably it's, at that point, of yeah. Course. But and it's the thing: if you're supporting me and if you're paying my bills, then you can give we're me together. what I'm doing. But yeah. we're not together. You're not paying my bills. You're just supporting me. We're in this weird situation yeah he ain't come with the understanding fully no I and then break he's it like down. oh i am just such an under i know what women want I'm like you don't know what women want yeah. you can't even cater to women the way that they want yeah you gotta be able to you know be a a, a leader yeah lay that foundation down and take care of everything and then we could put it all together in the pot then we take it all the way up you hear me and that's, that's what i talked about on finesse's podcast too yeah, just to talking finesse. about um, talking about how, sure, if you want multiple women, but right. how are you going to give them love and attention? Because right. every woman wants love and attention. Yes, they do. And if you can't, like, first of all, you need to be making money, right? Right. But then there are two to three women that want your love and attention. Mm-hmm. How are you going to manage your time? I mean, that's all depends on how you do it, right? So right. if you're a person that's really making all of me your girlfriend, then of course. But if you're just a player and you got, like, you're my main girl and I'm just fucking these other girls, they ain't my concern. My concern is you. Right. The household is taken care of. I'm going to be a, a man and go f*** other They're not thoughts, though. They're just happenings. Like, yeah. we really going on no trips. We going on shopping sprees. We driving nice cars. Yeah. Them just getting f- So my money got nothing to do with them. My money got something to do with me and you. So yeah. that's how a real boss is going to move if you're going to move like that. Yeah. I'm not trying to have no three girlfriends, all that goofball, unless they all paying me for some reason. Like, what they doing to be with this? You know what I'm saying? It's that that and that was my whole thing. And because at first I was like, let me try and let me see if this right. is something I want to do. And then I tried and I was like, this is a disaster. This is right. so hurtful. But then you got to the point where I was like, I don't even respect you anymore. Right. I truly don't even respect you anymore. Yeah. We're fighting all the time. You don't respect me. I don't respect you. So what's the point? Yeah, the jig is up. It's like I'm like, I'm done. I'm I'm over it. I don't want to do this. And I'm like, this whole thing with um 
me like going on different podcasts and stuff because I've always wanted to do it, but I just never had an opportunity to do it or right. I never had the confidence to do it because right. I always thought, what do people want to, they don't want to see me. They don't, they don't care about me, For but sure. they're like, no, that's not true. People want to hear me and people are reaching out to me and saying, hey, we want to hear you talk, talk. and we want to know what you think and we want to, because I've always been the person that was about conversations. Right. I love having conversations. And uh, when I went to school, I studied communication. My mom almost killed me. She was like, I'm not paying $100,000 for you to study communications. Right, right. And I'm like, look, you see how it's panning out? Most definitely. It see, is now panning it, out. It opened up the corridor because now you can monetize your communication at the highest level in so many different ways. So it's good for you. And you, you can't talk and you have a real open conversation with people. They like that. They like when you're real. So yeah. back to OnlyFans. Yeah. What type of content was you doing? Um, I did everything. Mm. So he was the only one that I recorded some content with. Oh, so you was in there was f***ing all that. I'm just saying. It was back in the day, a long time ago. Back in the day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that was only sold in, like, private messages and stuff, so it wasn't really... Oh, you was going full goddamn understanding on there, huh? I just... I was just so scared because it was such a very... uh, Yeah. It's like something you know you're not supposed to be doing. Mm Mm-hmm. But then I was like, the money, the money's there. The, the money's money, there. The root of all evil. But then I'm like, what kind of, what am I doing with my, like, what? Yeah. I can get paid a lot more having a real job yeah. and, you know, being actually contributing to a company and, uh, cause I've, I've always been in sales, right. like driving sales and just, just actually working with my brain. I can make like triple what I was making there. Yeah. I, I didn't make that much. I probably like made 5k my first month and yeah. like maybe like. Three, four. But then I had people, um, I had this one guy send me money for rent. Yeah, how, what's the biggest sum of money you got from a trick ass? Probably was a white man, but it too. Ever in my life? Yeah. It was 10K. 10K, that's it? Yeah. That you too fine just to get 10K. Yeah, but uh, I God just, I, the thing with me, up until I did that, I never asked men for money. Oh, okay, I've gotcha. always been this girl that's like, if I go out, like I remember we were out in LA with my friend yeah. and this guy wanted to talk to her. And so we went for dinner and we got the bill and he goes like, can we split the bill three ways? And oh, I looked at him, I was like, how many ways? I right. got it, baby. I was like, here's my card. Yeah. So I've always been that person. For I'm sure. like, I'll pay for everything. And I just, get it. Cause I've, I've always made money in corporate. Right. And I've never, it never even crossed my mind because I've always been like, I'm so strong and independent that I would never even take money from men. Right, right, right. And then it got to, like, I remember I'd go out in the Bay Area and I would buy tables and stuff, like yeah. myself. Okay. And it would be like me and my girls at the table and like someone would walk in and then I remember one guy, he's like, well, can I bring my girl here? I was like, yeah, pay for the table then. He gave me like a thousand dollars because I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to have your girl sitting here. It's my table. I paid for, sure. for it. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay. Wake up. This yeah. is not okay. You should be getting, not paid, but like you should get something out of interactions with men because they're getting you, but you're also paying for all your stuff. Like, this is not okay. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that now. I'm like, no. So, okay. So you think you feel like guys should pay for everything if they're with you? No, not for, it's a fine line. Right. It's a fine line. So I think it depends what it, what's the setting, right? Mm-hmm. If someone is trying to talk to me, then you're going to pay for the first date. I'm not even going right. to. That's If you want to take me on a trip, you're going to pay for my flights. You're going to pay for my hotel. Mm. You're going to most likely pay for everything that's happening there. Obviously, you know, if something, you know, maybe like, I don't know, like I'll pay for a little bit. Right. But if you want my presence there, right. you got to pay for it. So you don't want to be there. So it's only if they want you to come. Like you don't feel like you want to come to, um. So like no, of course like, I want to go. Of course right, I want to go. Right. But I think for me, it's just the idea that if you want me to go on a trip with you, now right. I'm thinking about the future, right? So uh-huh. let's say that we do start dating and we do hit it off, uh-huh. then okay, like can you afford that, right? Like then maybe there's a there are kids and family, and like uh-huh. can you afford to take someone on vacation? Right. Obviously, we can together make money but it's like what if everything fails can you support me when i'm down because i know that if you are going to be down i'll support you okay i like that and so and that's like that's just that's how i think about it now because at the end of the day if i'm taking time to go on vacation i have to take time off work right and so i have (laughs) to i'm not making money at this point yeah so if i'm spending time with you then 
Mm-hmm. So up? if you go on vacation with a guy, right, you just met him, he's like, hey, let's go to goddamn Turks and Caicos, right? I just met you. And I fly you out there. That going to be delivered on a, on a silver platter, right? 100%. I, absolutely, because <laughs> absolutely. I, that's ridiculous when girls think that they're going to go on a trip and they're not going to do anything. You come on a trip, we fucking, how we fucking, right? Yeah. For sure. Although I did go on a trip with someone and, no. Nothing happened. No, because it was just very, um, I don't know, vibes were not there. Yeah. And then the guy was, uh, <laughs> he said some stupid yeah, 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 just one vibing right. He literally said, um, he was like, I only date white girls, but I don't take them serious. He a G for them. I, I be I usually use that motto too. Like I'm gonna have my fun, but when it's all said and done, I'll probably be with my and I'm saying my black woman or something else, you know what I mean? So but I, I looked at him and I said, So I'm here. Yeah, he he should have held that off a little bit. He's a first and told you that. He fed up the rotation. It's, 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 I would have went on he didn't be like, How oh, do you take me serious? Nah, you're a white girl. I'm just I never asked him to take me serious. No, I'm saying though, he he you wanted up. you literally been asking me to go on a trip for months, and then you wanted me to go on a trip with you. Then you ask everyone in Atlanta, you know, because he asked someone who goes to the same gym as I go, and he's like, "Oh yeah, she's fine." And, you know, everyone right, right, wants right. her. Blah blah blah. Uh-huh. Whatever, whatever. I'm like, so why are you? That was that was to f- you. Yeah, but you can't even be like. Here's the thing: you can want to have sex with someone. Right. But you still got to be respectful to an extent. That's what he. That's what I'm saying. He yeah. up by rushing the gun. He could have had that in his mind the whole time, and got you got to complete. You the can conquest. have it in your mind all the time. Don't tell me that. Go yeah, say he, it to your friend. You're right. You 100 percent right. That's why he up that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You ain't like, say all man, that, it's brother. Common sense. I don't know why people don't have common sense because it's like you yeah, don't true. have to. There are things that you don't need to say. Like yeah. I can think something. Well, you don't got I to know. I can go and tell it to my best yeah, friend. You gotta hide the lie. An hour. Gotta, yeah. An hour. Yeah. Yeah. Private messages, For sure. but I don't have to tell it to your face just because, first of all, you don't know how, I don't know, maybe you're dealing with something and maybe it's going to really affect you. True. I don't want to be responsible for that. Very true. And I don't, like, there's certain things you have to keep to yourself. You're right. And I feel especially you when you take a girl on that a trip. Was, yeah, he, she, he, was he drunk? Was he on some crap No, he doesn't something? drink. Okay, he was just, he just said, he was bow garden. And yeah, then he gotta, kept texting me after and he said, oh, I miss you. Oh, yeah, and it's too late, And brother. I'm just like, are you bipolar at this point? already dropped that in. Then you could have did all that. You had to control you to drop in already. Like, we literally could have had just a fun vacation. Right. Could have been standing up in that pussy like a gargoyle, you know what I'm saying? We could have Put been the foot on the head, on the neck I, and all that. You, you with all been, that, huh? I Listen, I'm all about having fun. I know you Especially is. if we're going on vacation. Mm-hmm. We got to go. Hands up on the roller coaster. <laughs> There you go. See? Yeah, we're going to live it. I like to have fun, too. I'm oh, not. I know you do, baby, as you, know, you should. You know Absolutely, and I don't As care what should. people think about them. Yeah. We got to live our life. Because at the end of the day, like I said, I didn't come to this country to just be living. What did you come to this country to do? I just wanted to live a different life. I didn't want to be like where I grew up, you know, going to the same nine to five job and then yeah. coming home and taking a nap and then doing dinner and then going to sleep and then just the whole routine that starts all over again. Yeah, robot. And, and it's so many opinions that just wait on you and you can't do certain things and you can't be yourself. Yeah. And I've never been that person. Even in school, I've always been this rebel. But yeah. I've always I've always had good grades. I've always been a really good student. Yeah. But sometimes, like I remember my teacher, she would be like, it was a geography class. Okay. And then she gave me um, a book and then she said, you just need to copy everything from the book, like a paragraph, write it in your notebook. Mm-hmm. And I looked at her and I was like, are you an idiot? Yeah, what well, I'm doing that for? But that's what I said. I right. was like, what's the what's the purpose of this? Yeah, I'm right. not learning anything from this. Right. A whole paragraph? It was like this big. And then they kicked me out of the class, obviously. Of course. I you said, was being insubordinate to get your ass up out of here. Yeah, but I, then the... What's it called? The, the teacher that like supports your class, whatever is the word. But that's the, we have like a one teacher that's with you every single year. Yeah. For like you know elementary school, middle school, and then high school. Mm-hmm. And I went and talked to her, and she's like, "I, we couldn't hire anyone better." So I understand she's an idiot. Right. But you can't be saying that for to sure. a teacher. You got to hold it to yourself. <laughs> you can't just be blaring that to the people. <laughs> and I was like, well. I just don't like this. Right. And so I, you know, my mom kind of had to make adjustments to my 
schooling. I had tutors because I was traveling so much. I lived in Australia. Then my mom had a business. So I was traveling with her to Europe and stuff because she doesn't speak English. So I had to be with her and help her out with her business. So I've been involved in business since I was like 12 years old. Right. And um, I've always been a little bit different. I've right. never been the same as, and you know, you can even tell like I'm tall. I've never fit in since I was born. Yeah, I could imagine that. So even with that, right? So being a tall one, how tall are you again? Six two. She's six two, almost like six three. Like mm-hmm. she right there on me. I'm six six. So, with that being said, how how was it to date as being a six two six three female in America? Easy. Easy. It's not a problem. Not a problem. I think what it is, it's not about. It's about the quality, right? Right. Quality is hard to find, but it's also I don't know if it's a me issue or if it's who I go after, because my type, I like people who got swag. I like people who are outgoing. (laughs) Yeah, like, I like, you know, this is very attractive to me. Am I that type of guy? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. (laughs) I heard that in the back. Hey, Roger. (laughs) Hey, Andy, heard that? Absolutely. Okay, go ahead. But that's what I'm saying, you know, basketball players and a lot of Oh, you're going for the top of the top only. It's it's okay. Absolutely. 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 All right. Just that's just what I've always liked. Right. You know, I've always like. I just can't do basic. I just can't do basic. You got to do the one percent of the one percent. <laughs> and 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 yeah, absolutely. That's that's where I'm gonna end up, and I know it. <laughs> it is where I'm gonna be. That's a blessing to feel that way. <laughs> it is just because I know I don't want to settle for something that's yeah. And, and your DNA perfect. You put that together with my guy. You know what I'm saying? These same attributes we talking about guaranteed. A yeah. good creature come out, you know what I'm saying? You can't. But go I'm with very that. much. I like to be loved when it's just me. I like like mm. give me all the attention. I'm a Leo, so yeah, I am a lover girl. I'm I'm a lover, and I'll give it back to you too. Reciprocation is key. Yeah, and mm. I've I've always even said that that I. Oh. Give it to us, baby. Don't hold nothing back now. I've always because you know again going back to open relationships stuff. Yeah. Just don't disrespect me. Okay? Right. That's the only. Just thing. keep it don't over there. We cool keep, right yeah. here. Like, I want this, because I understand what can happen, and happens, and, you know, people slip up, or yeah. it is what it is, as long as it's not intentional, right? right. When it's intentional, you do it on a purpose, because I know that I can be that, right. and I don't want, I don't want anyone to trigger that in me, because right. it's just, it's stupid. It's so you, so when it comes to the open relationship, you are okay with it, as long as it's not like a res, like a recurring event with the same girl, or it's blatantly yeah. in my face going on dates and all this go- on social media. No. If you just do your thing, I don't really know, keep it out of my face, as long as we good, we good. Because you're dealing with the top of the top, that comes with that. It's it 100%. comes with that, yes. and, and it comes with, because... It's just something. It's like it's a it's a power drive, For sure. right? It's like that I can go and chase, and I can go get it. Most definitely. And and you know sometimes like even looking at some athletes and their marriages and stuff, and right. you never hear about them going south. You know because they you keep and it clean. you yeah, but they keep it so down low and in the public eye. They respect each other. As they that's how it's supposed to go. So you a good woman, girl. You going places? I f- with you, like for real. I, I understand that. You, you you got the right head. You because you came from a different country, so you already conformed to your own ideology. You ain't coming to this dumbass American. B- don't know what the f- going on. Living this dream that you want to n- that got every attribute mm-hmm. at one percent of one percent, and think I'm gonna cut off this valve of greatness that every man in life wants since the beginning of time just for your m- ass. That ain't gonna happen. You, get, you shouldn't be over here with us. So you get that, and that's a beautiful thing. But when it comes to tall women, I always had a thing for them. I don't know if it's because cause you're tall. It's like you got extra endorphins or something because, you know, guys probably made fun of you, some kid or something. They're just such good freaks. And that vagina is just so extra goddamn voluptuous. I don't know what it is. I always had a, a great encounter with tall women. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I think it also depends how they grew up, too, because they're – a lot of tall women that I met that are very self-conscious about their height. Of heights, course. Which I never understood because if you're tall, just embrace it. Right. You are what you are. Yeah. And that's why I don't really subscribe to, you know, like, I don't want to get my body redone. I don't want to do it because no, God gave good. me what I have. Yeah. If I really want to, I'm going to go and take the long route. I'll be in the gym. And I am in the gym. Right. I don't, and, and a lot of girls, they're very, it's so sad because they've been bullied for how tall they are, Yeah. but it's usually by very short people. For sure. And because those short people were not given the genes that they were given, now they're mad at them. Of course. So why? Yeah, it's, it, and like I said, that's that's probably why 
Do you know like shy people or tease people, redheads? They are mm-hmm. the best freaks. They want to fuck like, damn, you like me? Yes, I do. And they just go crazy. Be that bending them up, press them, big long leg, <laughs> wrap around the head, boom, 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 standing up like a pterodactyl, ah, flying around the room and shit with the legs. Cause it's just they be enthusiastic that, oh, you love me for me. Yeah. And I do love them. I love me a tall woman. And y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got some extra. I don't know what's in there that makes it. I don't know because you're tall and it sit up a certain way. But they got extra goddamn juicery in there too, now. What about their personalities? Dad, who gives a <laughs> fuck about a funky ass personality? Me, let's have a good time. Personality, That's smiling. all you want a tall woman for? That's it, the sex. I don't want your personality. You, Keep you that. You don't ever want to settle down? No. This is my world. I get to devour, eat everything, man. Like the pharaohs of, of far, like the Vikings, like the barbarians. I wanted them level. I'm a mutant. I ain't supposed to be on this earth. Like the, God cheated and made me like this. There's no way how I think got this vessel of a human, got the money I got, got this voice, got this humor, got a, I should not be on earth. I'm cheating. <laughs> And I'm and I'm on that. I love it. You, I'm a cheat code. So <laughs> I'm gonna beat the gate, guy. That me talk to me. One question I always have because that's something I ask myself. Like, you know, obviously I'm single too. I know. And you I, is, I like to I like to be around men. I love, yeah. especially when I go out or like mm-hmm. in my, if I'm in a restaurant. I'm not gonna sit there if it's just a room full of girls. Right. I don't, I don't like. I need some masculine. I just need men in there. Yeah, you need to smell that testosterone. Yeah, you just. And I'm not, I'm not going to hide that. That's what I want. Yeah. But it's like, sometimes you just want to have that connection with someone. Right. So what are you, what are you going to do about I'm it? Playing. I'm playing. I'm I, I was just in a relationship, had a great relationship. But I just ended it not too long ago and uh-huh. it's all good. But nah, for real though, I would, I would definitely, you know what I'm saying? Being a, I like women that like me. I don't like women that right. I got to, I'm the one. So you got to recognize that and move accordingly. Yeah. Once you do that, that's going to put me in a different space with you. And how you treat me as the king I am. I'm going to super appreciate that. And I, I love a woman that really, really dedicated to making me the best man I could be. And I will keep them around for sure. I yeah. don't mind having a woman. I don't mind being in a, in a committed relationship at all. In, in all actuality. You know what I'm saying? I was saying that just to have fun. But really, for sure, if I have me a woman with me, why not? That connection is immortal. All she's going to do is make me better than I already am. You know what I mean? Every great king had a great queen by his side. You know what I'm right. saying? But I must run accordingly. I must do what I do. But that connection of a woman well, she is can't game strip changing. that away from me because she that's who never, you are. You and can't you block can't my strip energy. that away from her either. I would never do that. So yeah. the energy got to be pure and it got to be positive and it got to be electrifying each other. It got to like make us both glow at a higher rate. Right. If I'm already this bright and then I get with you, I'm brighter. Why the fuck I'm going to let that go? You right. know what I mean? So I'm never pushing away nothing that meant for me. You know what I mean? On some connection level, on some actuality settings yeah. you know what i mean i need that i love that but in the meantime i feel I'm like a lot life. of men what they're doing now and this is just the experience that maybe i've had but right. a lot of times you start investing into a man or just you start connecting with them and then mm-hmm. they just run away right yeah it's it's this thing i don't know what it is especially with a lot of over six feet men you yeah, know yeah, yeah. how every girl wants especially you got that slick. See, i got a slammer <laughs> on me you know what that is but they're like <laughs> You know what the slammer is? <laughs> what is it? I'm going to let you finish your thing because I'm cutting you off. I'll be doing other stuff. Go ahead. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm just saying that it's, it's, I don't, maybe it's something that they don't, they're scared of intimacy. Yeah. Because it, it's intimacy on a different level. Right. It's, you know, when you connect to someone, you're like, oh my God, I'm going to fall for that yeah. person and you're just going to run away. Yeah. So what happens is when you're a guy of that magnitude, and I've been in that position too, you don't want to get hurt. When you let all your guards down for a woman, because it's dangerous. Women are very, very dangerous. You know, they they can make you or break you, especially if you give all, right? Now, she has the cards. Now, she could play with you how she wants to because she know you really love her for real, and you shut down the other part of your life. That's extremely dangerous for a guy that's high level. So, mm-hmm. of course, when they start feeling some type of way, they go back to their comfort zone, which is having numerous women, no real connections. I'm still freelancing. Yeah. If you give all that up and be like, I'm with you, baby, then she's somebody else or if she get to talking to you crazy it's gonna really fuck you up so most guys of that magnitude don't want to relinquish you know what i'm saying all their other women and their emotions to one woman because now they have the control mm-hmm. guys of our magnitude we love control yeah. once we get that to a woman it's different you'll see a lot of guys fold under that the greatest guys the greatest kingdoms went down to a woman that they gave all to and it's flipped on them so that's why guys do that you know what i mean so that's what i know but I'm not afraid of that. No woman ever did me wrong that I know of. I appreciate that. Yeah. But I, I also, I just know women are good liars, good cheaters, and I appreciate that too. Guys don't acknowledge that more. 
we are in a way we get caught and shit. Women, you will never know. Oh you my cheated. god, you guys are just ridiculous. We don't give a fuck. Yeah, dick just so... everywhere. They're looking for dick. I'm just nothing. Yeah, I'm pregnant. Yeah, you got a pregnant nigga. You went that crazy? Oh yeah, no, that's stupid. a different level. That's of not stupid. acting dumb. So yeah, but I, I I get it. But so when it comes to that, right? When you got a guy that got all the attributes, right? And if he's tall, he got money, he's funny, but he can't. You got the little Peter Weeder. Not only is little, but he ain't knocking that uterus back. How do you go about that? Because, listen, I know you've been with guys that look good, funny, and all that, but they got damn <laughs> came in. Like, how? Huh? Come on, talk to me now. Should, yeah, we, look at should, the we, should we plug the third leg? <laughs> got to plug the third leg. Shout out to my dog, Finesse, that third leg. Eat some of that sea moss, man. <laughs> For sure. Sea moss in the third leg, I guess. You got to have that. <laughs> but it, it is hard because it's a part of the experience, right? And then that's one thing. I remember it happened to me once to the point where I was like, man, I don't know if I can do it. Right. I don't know if I can do it just because it's. And and here's the thing. Okay. I believe you can talk about it, right? It has to be talked about. It has to be talked about. But there's a very fine line where you don't break that ego down. Because he know. Because he know. Yeah. And it's now it's like. Is he thinking, oh, I've been around the block or right. wh whatever is he thinking about? But how do you approach that conversation to the point where he gets that I'm not coming from a place of hurt, that yeah. I'm actually trying to work it out and make sure that we can understand something? Because this ain't working. Because um, it's not working. Yeah, especially like it's tough. I don't know because I hear that from a lot of women because I always tell women that you basically play Russian roulette with your every time you fuck a guy because you don't know what he got. Because it's so many variables for a woman to come and enjoy sex, right? Yeah. So even if a guy got a big, as you know, that don't mean everything. He probably stiff body yeah. in there, don't know what he's doing. Like Sometimes it's horrible. Probably horrible, right? So if a guy got a little Peter, now nah, he's just slipping out. Because you tall, that <laughs> got to get up in them long. That <laughs> got to get in there. You hear me? So like, that ain't going to work. Then you don't know. He, he, he thinking he's going, he just jackrabbit all crazy. <laughs> That's going too fast. You know, he don't know how to eat the, turning around, eating the ass from the back, tongue of the at the same time, and then smooching the mouth. He don't know how to take it there. Smooching the mouth. You heard Ooh. that? I, is it dripping? <laughs> can, Roger, can we get a towel, sir? Because I'm taking her there. Oh, okay. Smooch in the mouth. You got I to smooch the that. mouth after I, I ate everything. Here, I'm, I'm here for it. Let me yep. eat everything on the, the souffle, and then let me smooch my mouth. And let me go back in and put it back in. And let me stir it. You hear me? But I'm next level. I'm the best of all time. So it's like when you <laughs> when you don't have all that. I tell guys, it don't matter how much money you got. How cool you See, is. That's what it was with that guy that. Um, he ain't got slammer. He just never, the, there's no smooches in the mouth, you, you know? Gotta that's the that's mouth. what I'm saying. Chew my tongue, baby. That's, yeah, I huh? hate when people don't kiss. I just, I, I can't. I don't kiss like, everybody. Uh, I ain't everybody kiss her, but there was a woman that's fine enough and we want to kiss. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make out. <laughs> I just, to me. <laughs> Thing, it's like it just got to be a part of it. It get you warmed up, get my blood pumping yeah, extra. It's like if we're just because if it's no, I don't like it. Let's make out. Yeah, it's Pepe like, Le Pew style. Like we're teenagers, let's just make out. Oh, like, yes. Let and me I kiss me, that. baby. Yeah, that's like one thing that I hate about being single. Yeah. I love, you know, I want to call someone my man. I want to like go out, like make out in public. I don't Damn. care. I'll do all that Suck stuff. That behind <laughs> But what, you know, being single in Atlanta, it's kind of crazy. I had someone, um, I went for dinner with my friend, yeah. and someone recorded me walking next to him. And oh, so I was like, man, like, what is wrong with people? No. Like, this is a little too much. Like, you guys are really crossing the boundary. Yeah, that's OC. That's, too, like, that's going too far. Y'all are trying to figure out who I'm dating, who I'm talking yeah, to. You're not going to know because. Yeah. It's nobody business. It's, exactly. I want to keep it to myself. And that's just. But and it's tough because sometimes you like you know it's not gonna work out. Yeah. Like I don't want to be seen out in public with that person, yeah. Unless it's a bunch of people, but right. then and because again, Atlanta, everyone is gonna talk about you. Mm. Like I stand out with my six two blonde. Oh, for sure. You and know, and that. people people think they know me. They don't know me. They don't they've, know you. They seen me once, but they've never had a conversation with me. They don't know you. Or like you know, they probably had a conversation with me because I'm very. Outgoing. I've always taught. The girls this i said you go to starbucks you need to know the person that works there you need yeah. to know their name you need to know their dog's name their kids because that's the person that's going to help you out down the road yeah you should never treat the staff same thing with restaurants you go you know the waitresses mm -hmm. you, know, you know everything about they don't need to know about you right but get to know them just so whenever you need something they can be there personable because people you well. care about that 
people just you you need to be personable to a person. Got to. It goes a long way. I was a person that ate Chipotle probably every day for 20 years, right? I had a Chipotle diet I was on like, every day for 20 <laughs> years. But I put like this, every Chipotle I went to, after a while, I got Chipotle free. Right. Just because the energy I'm exude to them, the conversation I'm going to give them, you know what I'm saying, the praise and um, making them feel, you know what I'm saying, like it's okay you work. I was working in crazy positions too in my life, so I'm not judging you. I appreciate you. And Absolutely. Like you treat people that way, it always come back tenfold. I don't care who they are or what they are. You know, it goes the other way, too. With disrespect, you play with me, I'm going to take your ass all the way up there, too. Don't do that. Yeah. But if it's all respect, give people, I don't give a fuck who you are, what you are. Give them their respect. You know what Absolutely. I mean? It pays off in the long run. So it it, it's just different, man. But you you get it. You know what I mean? So I'm glad you got that understanding. I've that's I think that's how... Maybe that's when I was, you know, when you don't speak English and you go to a different country, because I was by myself at 14. And I remember how... Mm -hmm. It was a guy at the airport who helped me out. Right. Like, just a regular, whatever whatever he's doing, whatever his job, you know, right. just someone who is probably, I don't, I don't even know what he was doing. Just a regular person. But then I'm like, man, if he didn't do that, I don't know how I would have gotten to the school that I went to. I don't know how I would have been picked up. Like, he didn't have to. But then now, every time I go to the gym, you know, I meet so many people in the gym. People know me just because I always talk to them. Yeah. Because that's the, the, the simple thing you can do is just to say, hey, good morning. Right. How's your day going? So if you've got a man, so if you got a man, right, are you still going to be that personable with all these at the gym? I'm not going to be flirty with them, but. All right now. <laughs> Two goddamn conversations in there. Damn, baby, you just is that, that, that be cheery, hi, happy to got me to No, there, I mean, obviously, there's there's this one guy who uh, said hi, and then he just picked me up. See what I'm saying? And, and then so there's a video. There's a video on Instagram where it was uh, Desi. Oh, I've comedian. seen that one. Yeah, yeah. He looked. He was like, what is wrong with her? But I'm like, we're just cool. Like, we're literally, we're just cool. But again, obviously, if I'm in a relationship with him, with my man, first of all, my man better go to the gym with me. Okay, let's start there. Okay, let's break that down. <laughs> the type of man you need. <laughs> I want someone who is active, just as, just as, there we go. Okay. See, I, put the my schedule up. is very crazy. I yeah. go to sleep at 9, 30, 10 at most. Me too. And I get up at 5. Me too. There we go. See, and I think so, I can't be with people who are, you know, sleep till 10, 11. I just don't understand that. Right. You need to get up early because that way you have more time in the day to do things that you need to do and to be very productive. Cause obviously, you know, like I go and play tennis at six in the morning. Mm -hmm. Um, then I go to work. Well, I work from home, but I work. And then after that I go to the gym Yeah. and then I come home, walk my dogs. And then it's just, it's, it's a routine that I like to live. But then on the weekends I can switch it up a little bit mm -hmm. and sometimes, but I still get up at six, seven in the morning. So yeah. I want someone who can match, that kind of vibe and I want someone who's ambitious and someone who is because I know I am right. and it hurts men when they're with someone like me because they just don't get it, it, it ain't they, match. and and it's gonna I've seen it with my mom my mom crushed my dad's ego just because she was so hungry for everything yeah, no she wanted different. she wanted to have her kids out of the country she wanted to build the best life for us right. and so she said if he's not gonna do it then I'm gonna do it mm -hmm. She didn't have anything. She, um, my mom, so my mom had a twin brother and she lost her twin brother. R. He R. went R. missing. So it's Russia in the 90s. We don't know what happened to him. Yeah, damn. And then at that point, so that was someone she could rely on. Right. And then she lost that support. And so she said, okay, let me see. She was, uh, she used to make clothes. Like she used to like um, saw and need clothes. Yeah. And then she was like, well, why don't I just start something with the clothing business and like start making clothes for people? Yeah. And then she got um, somehow into retail. She like rented a little corner and then grew from there. And then she That's had cool. like few stores now in Russia. She's like three or four stores. That's dope. So, and she owns her buildings. Like she doesn't, it's not rented. It's she owns all of it. Tough. And she, you know, and, and my mom made sure that we travel the world, that we speak a different language. So me and my brother, we speak English. Yeah. Um, well, Russian English. It's not that crazy, but it's still a different language to yeah. the level where we can live here and we can communicate, communicate yeah. in a, in a appropriate level. Yeah. Um, and she always said, like, I want you guys to travel. I want you guys to just see that there is a different reality than what we live in here. Because she always understood that the reality that she grew up in is not normal. Right. Because it's very close-minded. Most definitely. And so, and then she always she always said to me that I'm very, uh, how do they call it? They're always like, you're very stubborn. Yeah. Because I am stubborn. But, I, like, if I want something, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, the thing with, for example, the OnlyFans. I yeah. wanted to do it. I did it. But then I oh, didn't think about it. you did it now. You was f***ing on that motherfucker sucking everything. She 
but I didn't understand the repercussions of it, right? Of course. I didn't know how it can come and bite me in the butt afterwards. Yeah. I didn't know that, obviously, I have to explain myself to people who, for example, want to date me or, like, are they going to take me serious? Are they yeah. not going to take me serious? And uh, it's still kind of, like, trails behind me where people disrespect me sometimes. Yes. To, to which I have to say, like, listen, I don't care. It doesn't matter what I've done before. Right mm. now, right here, I'm this person. So you think it truly doesn't matter? Like, I mean, I mean, obviously it does matter, but it's it. I had my reasons for it, and of course, I think, but I'm saying as a man, you talking about top tier guys you want, right? So you gotta deal with a guy that's at an upper echelon level. That's gonna be judged by his friends, family, and peers. Yeah. So if I deal with a girl that's on OnlyFans, you know what I mean? As my woman, it's gonna be brought up. You're gonna be judged for it. Now, personally, you don't have to feel some type of way. But most likely, almost every guy you encounter is gonna feel that type of way because of the 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 you know the thing you chose to do you yeah. chose that and you got to deal with the repercussions of that. So you can say you don't care, but you know the world does. No, obviously the world does. Right. I think the most important thing for I, I'm just not the person that I'm not gonna hold anything against you what you've done in the past. Right. Even like you know, especially like when people talk about cheating and stuff, because I understand people do things for a reason. Right. Or sometimes they just don't think about it, right? But OnlyFans is different, though. OnlyFans you, is different. You got film of you fucking. Like, you ain't going to film of me cheating somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Me yeah. Them. It's a totally different demographic of what's going on. Yeah. This is high level. Like, it's probably one of the highest levels. Yeah. So you got to always But then knowing it. a lot of men from that high level, right? they spend money on those girls. <laughs> For sure. But, they spend but money. once again, that's yeah. we're talking about things that are behind closed doors. Yeah. You're open doors. Like when you yeah. do that stuff, goes to the internet, it's never going away. Yeah. You can hide it all you want to. Eventually, somebody's going to bring it up. Somebody's going to find it. Yeah. If I'm paying for OnlyFans, no one ever is going to know that. Yeah. So I don't have to deal with that. But what you're doing, you will have to deal with that. Absolutely. And so that's that's one thing I have to live with myself for the right. rest of my life. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm always, it's like, okay, you see this person now. And right. does that make you want to disrespect me? Like the way that I speak, the way that I act, does that yeah. make you want to disrespect me? And if it does, then probably we shouldn't be around each other. I mean, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to yeah. happen. So like, I mean, you, have you got with a guy and then he was cool at first and then you get in an argument, he brings it up and try to bash you with it? No. Okay, no. that's the beautiful I don't, thing. I don't let people, well, I haven't really been in relationships like that. You know, Because right. I, once that experience that I had with that man, I shut the door and I just kind of, I kind of said I just want to be to myself and I, I really need to rethink everything that I'm doing because, like, one thing that I was really upset about is that I had a therapist at that time. Yeah. And my therapist let me. He did what? She let me have OnlyFans and, you know. The therapist said it was okay for the OnlyFans. Yeah, she was. That uh, need to be fired. So I stopped going to therapy. I bet. Um, I stopped going to therapy because I think – at that time, I was so confused. Yeah. I was so lost that I just didn't know what I was doing. I was literally just going to I'm, I'm Dr. Organic. I'm a therapist. You can come to me, baby. I'll give you some understanding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trust me. Yeah. And that's that's what um, one of my friends said, too. He's like, you should have just called me. You yeah. should have just called me. And me but, but in that moment, you don't think about calling someone because I'm also not the person that's asking for help. Yeah, that's tough. It's And it's something that I, I, I kind of had to sit back and understand that I think she grew so much love for me yeah. that she was supporting everything that I was doing. And I remember when I was talking to her about the man that I was talking to, she said something and I said, one thing I'm going to let you know right now is that I'm not going to cut him off. Right. And, and that's where it's like, this is where I think a therapist needs to intervene a little bit and yeah. just say, listen, you come here not to, you know, bend who is going to do what and what you're going to stand on because you're going to stand on whatever you're going to stand on, but this is the reality. Yeah, for sure. Why are you settling for something that's not good for you? Can't do that. You Yeah, and that's that's so I kind of had to chill out on therapy because I've been in therapy for like four and a half years and I had to really stop it for a little bit. And right. then um, I'm, I'm very much like I love to tap into subconscious and so I did this... Um, um, it's a hypnotherapy session. Okay. So where you tap into your um, self con not self conscious into your con consciousness. Consciousness, yes. And so you kind of start. It can take you all the way back to childhood, you know, childhood, mm -hmm. even past that. Right. So, and the things that I saw for myself. I was like, man, I was never meant to be this OnlyFans girl. I was never meant to be right. that. I'm never, I never wanted to model because I, to me, it's like, okay, it's given. Right. 
what am I bringing to the world? Yeah. Is there something different that I can do? And for sure. I think I was blessed with a mind for a reason. Right. And so, Communication, talking. Communi- oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so it was just like this, what I saw was this like boss girl. Mm. And she was like very tall and she had a suit on and she had like blonde long hair. Oh, I like women, but wear that suit. Oh, suit yeah. Skirt matching. <laughs> Ooh, I want to lift it up and just That's literally put how my I nose saw. in it, baby. Can I put my nose in them? <laughs> yeah, it, it was just such a different experience. And then I was like, where did I go wrong? What was it? And yeah. then there's some experiences that you see. Like I saw some traumatic experiences that happened with me in my childhood. And because yeah. um, I grew up, my my dad's side of family, they're all alcoholics. Right. Really bad. Like to the point where I, I, I didn't remember, but I think that they were hitting us. Yeah. Was it a I, sneaky uncle in there too? It's always a sneaky no, uncle, a stepbrother. No, it was, some it, no, it sneaking was. Sneaking in the damn room and climbing in the damn bed type. Was it one of them? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. It was just very much like they like they were drinking every single day. Yeah. And so got to the point where my dad was late to to the wedding with my mom because he was they wouldn't let him go. Oh lord. Yeah, it was that bad. And so it was just like that's where I think it just completely went south because my mom's side of family is completely different. Like they're mm. all with master's degrees and you know. Yeah, about their business. I'm the least educated person on my mom's side of the family. Yeah. For real. Yeah. So That's they bad. all have uh, masters, uh, PhDs, and all that. And my mom has PhD in math. So, yeah, it's a very different yeah, side of the family. Different. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. And then you know, it's kind of like, and then I kind of saw that my character just got bent, like bent down, I guess, or whatever it was. It was just like I was broken. Yeah. And then I um, went for the easy route. Yeah. And then the the, the lady that was doing it, <clears throat> she asked me. She was like, "Why do you think?" you were placed in the family like that. And then I was like, man, because they knew that I can handle it. Right. But with my personality, like sometimes I'm a, like, I'm a very bossy woman, right. but then sometimes I'm like, man, I just want to hide from the world. Like I don't want to be outside. Yeah, and I chill. go through those like waves of the sadness that comes. And um, I had a depression episode too, like in 2020, man, it was tough. Yeah. I don't even know how I made it. Especially during COVID time. During a COVID, it was horrible. It was, it, was, it was really serious. You got to, you know, that's why you do your tennis. You got your working out, you know, and what will help you a lot, of course, you know, getting on podcasts or starting your own yeah. and just voicing your real, you know, story. Don't hold back and being, you know, authentically yourself. And so many women, so many people will connect with that and how you give it and you take it Definitely, you know what I'm saying, uh, will connect with a lot of people. Because, like, even when I'm going at you, like, hey, you know you did OnlyFans, you understood, like, damn, you're right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, they talk about it, yeah, they going to. You got to accept that. And you did. And that's going to help a lot of people be free in, in knowing that mistakes come with repercussions. Absolutely. It's not going to be like, oh, I did it, but let it go. No, no, uh. It's, you know I mean? it's just the reality of right. things because we live in a society at the end of the day, right? For sure. We, we have to connect with other people. And so if people are upset about that, let them yeah let them be upset about that because you know i worked through that experience i've paid my dues for doing what i did um you know i've lost a lot of people because of that right. there's a lot of things that happened but it's like okay now we got to move on yeah gotta, you gotta move go. on you gotta do something different so let me ask you this question right because i just had this conversation with a girl not too long ago and i had my opinion on it but i want to give yours like what is your um is it okay for a first date to be at somebody's house with a guy? Are you okay with that? What are we doing? What's the plan? I'm just ask you. Like, let's say he's cooking I dinner? Would, no, we're just chilling at the crib. Chilling just come over crib. and chill at the crib. You don't know that all the time. Hey, babe, come on, do a chill, right? Yeah, I wouldn't go. So you've never done that in your life? Um, Have I? I probably have, and I probably that's have. why I don't want to do it because. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. So this is my view on it. Okay. If we're going on a date, right? A date is something that's going to set the tone on how the relationship is going to go, right? right? I love to be at home. Trust me, I love to be at home. Mm-hmm. But I think on the first few dates, you both got to show your like you got to put your best foot forward. Right. Right. Are we going out to a restaurant? What restaurant am I going out to? Because in my daily life, in my normal life, I don't go to, you know, I've never had fast food in my life. I don't go to places. So you don't do the Cheesecake Factories at all, though? I, I can do Cheesecake Factory. Okay, okay. I can do Cheesecake, because it's not really fast food. They have some, some good, good 
Yeah, yeah they, they, they got tripping. some. But Cheesecake Factory, that's like, once we're already cool, like, we're really, like, we're just tight with each other. And we're in a relationship. Right. I would go to Cheesecake Factory. You know, we don't have to dress up because sometimes you just want to go but get initially, food. But initially, what Initially, you want? I want you to take me out to a nice restaurant. Okay. Just because I'm going to take myself out to a nice restaurant. Right, I will right, go right. to a steakhouse on my own. Right. And if you can't match my life right now, yeah, then I, I'm not going to... Listen, you can say, hey, there's a really cool restaurant, a hole in the wall, like best food in the world. Yeah. Let's go eat there and then we can go grab drinks somewhere else. Cool. I'll with be that. down with that. Okay. Like, I'll be down with that. You're all right. But if, you know, someone comes up, I remember one time just when I'm, I moved to Atlanta, it was August 2022, it was September or something. And um, I got on Rye at that point. Mm-hmm. So I got accepted yeah, on them, Rye. Them apps next level. I never <laughs> indulge in it, but I hear about it all the time. I, I love Rye. Yeah, so, it's crazy. Some guy is trying to talk to me and asking me. Oh, no, he messaged me on Instagram because I never. Replied on a thing. You know? Yeah, I, I don't know. No, I don't think we ever got connected or whatever it was. Okay. But he messaged me on Instagram. Mind you, I'm looking at his Instagram. Rolex watches, like <laughs> okay. millions of dollars in deals, clothes, some real estate, some yeah. whatever, whatever. Uh-huh. Got the good perception up. Yeah, got like whatever, whatever is happening. And then he's saying, hey, like, let's go get food. I'm like, okay, well, you know, if I want to get food, this is where I would go. <laughs> it was it was on a night when, first of all, it wasn't like a few days prior, right? It was like the day off. Right off, yeah. And I said, hey, I'm going to Marcel, which is a steakhouse restaurant in Atlanta. I'm like, this is where I want to go. And he's like, are you crazy right now? I'm not going to take you out to Marcel on the first date. You're goddamn right. Shout out to him. And then he sends me, I think I have screenshots, like messages this long, oh, how Lord. he goes out with billionaires to Marcel. Why yeah. would I spend a hundred something dollars on a girl that I've right. never met before? Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Sound like me. Shit, I like him. <laughs> and what else it, it was like this long, long of a message. Nah, and I literally said, I was like, that's fine. Right. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'll go by myself. Right. But okay, this is my thing. End of the day, if we attracted to each other, right? You like me physically, I like you physically. We've been talking, we laugh, and we texting, whatever we're doing. And I say, hey, let's come through the crib and chill. What's going to happen is women put up their apprehensiveness because they know once they get in that house, they're going <laughs> to So they're trying to avoid the right? And I get that, but you, you're going to me anyway. So we could go to Marcel's. We could go to Maestro's. We could do four dates. What's going to happen? I'm going to fuck you. You're expediting a situation. You're ex- extended. You're extending a situation that's gonna happen anyway. If I'm gonna be with you, I'm gonna be with you. How are we gonna be in a relationship? We're gonna be in a relationship. If I want to go on these dates just to fuck you, why am I wasting my time and my money when you're already physically attracted? You know why? Women are procrastinating the inevitable. No, because recently in all of these states that I've lived in, which is California and Georgia at this point, right. if you were to fuck someone on the first night, right. Chances are, this is where it's going to end. But not, see, that's what I'm saying. That's a lame from the rip. Exactly. Almost any girl. So you I get the you. repercussion of what they had in their in the day, past we're experience. Adults, you want to f- me. So in the day, you got what you want anyway. Even if we went on four dates and it ended there, that ain't no relationship. Absolutely not. So what's the difference? Like, how many Sometimes times that you went on all these dates with a guy that y'all was your boyfriend? <laughs> okay. So in the day, you f- though. And they're going anyway. So what was the difference in the outcome? So for me, what it is, I'm not going to f- anyone on the first date just for, I'll explain why. I mean, what's the, I'm just saying. Well, there's no difference. No, there's Thank no you. difference. That's Absolute all I'm saying. Th- and I agree with you. I Thank think you. the outcome is still going to be the same, right. right? You're all going to have sex at some point. You probably will play around with each Especially other. Especially if you like a guy to that matter, he'll fly. The funny and all that. But you, know. you gotta understand the way you look like, the way you act, the confidence you have is yeah. very different from a lot of people. From I, probably ninety nine point nine percent. That's what I'm saying. So when girls tell me I would never really do this on the first night, I believe them because I know I'm a mutant. You yeah. know, I'm a gargoyle. And, and so. a lot of times, men they can't like. First of all, they're even scared to put to say that. That's another thing. They're scared to even say it out loud. Which right. I've always said, if your intention is to literally just have sex with me, I would much rather appreciate that because you don't know. Maybe that's how I feel too. Okay. Facts. Maybe I don't. It doesn't mean that I want to date you because we might not even be compatible. Right. We and probably we, are not even and compatible. We could have some fun initially. We might lead down to that, but or it might not. Why are you but trying it, to put a, oh, promise me the world, put up all this whatever? You don't need to do that. But they do though, because ninety nine percent of women want to be lied to. If you, it's like this. If you talk to a girl, I always tell this this analogy. If a girl says she's coming over my house, it's three in the morning. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm coming over. I'm leaving the club. But guess what? We ain't doing nothing, right? <laughs> what I supposed to say? What do you think I'm going to say? Don't come. No. <laughs> what 
we're not doing nothing. Come and go, go to sleep. We can just cuddle all night. Ten minutes to cutting, that dick is in there deep. But that's you hear what I'm me? Saying. But I can't say, hey, no, we you know, don't come over. She ain't coming. But I'll be like, no, baby, just come over, cuddle. I'm laying in the bed anyway, baby. I don't care. I'll be I like to lay in the bed. That's somebody don't do nothing. Okay, I'm on the way. That going in side, you know the side one too, when you lift the leg up, put the cheek up. Boop, 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 petties to the side. You inside. That's gonna happen. But if you tell the truth and say, if you don't come over, you ain't or hey, baby, no, you coming over, let's like let's you know we grown. She ain't gonna come. But you have to well, lie to her. It depends who you're dealing with again. But that's a small percentage of women's exactly. gonna accept the truth. And I think it's up to a man and up to it's up to people to figure it out. Like you need to read the room who you're right. dealing with, right? Very true. Because there are a lot of girls that I know that are pretty girls, but they're and they're always asking me, like, oh my God, how do you know so many people? I'm like, listen, you just have to figure it out. Ask them questions. True. Because at the end of the day, if you're telling me that, you know, we are you're coming over to my house and this this is how I want it. I right. would say, okay, that works for me or it doesn't work for me. Because right. But you're different. You're from Russia. You got a different type of understanding. No, I just I ask I like to ask questions. And if if this is the type of time I'm on. That's the type of time I remember I'm a girl on. that to me, I, I met her at a gym, and I had a girl this time. This is when I lived in L.A. a long time ago, right? And it was one of the realest shit I ever heard in my life, and I was like, damn, that was trill. And uh, this one, I just got, like, my Lamborghini Aventador. Big boy shit. The door go up. Not the Huracan. We talking about the big, wide. You hear me? I'm pulling up to the gym how I am. in there? Man, I'm a monster. So, boom, I, I do. I fit in there. Baby, I'm a big boy. I fit in there, thing, baby. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever challenge the that fittery. I'm a no, fit I just I don't I'm, like I'm cars that I've been listening this big my whole life in all type of ways. I always fit in where I got to fit in. I always can. So, listen, though. So, she was, you know, feeling the whole vibe. Of course, she already knew me from the gram. So, she seen my whole portfolio was mm-hmm. A1. And she came up to me, boom, got my uh, Instagram DM me. I'm like, I'm like, cool. I kept telling her, just come over. Come over, right? And she was like, listen, I know you got a girl. I'm going to fuck you. But you got to at least drive me to Lamborghini or something. Like, I know who you right. are. You got all this dope shit. Let me get something. I said, i fuck with you. That was some real shit. I took on the Lamborghini, took her back up there and knocked her fucking skull out of her brain. We did everything. But it was so real. We still cool to this day. And that's the difference. That's the difference. I only like real cool people like that. And and that's, again, that's just because sometimes people reach out to me and then be like, oh, you know, I want to take you out. I want to, or like someone that I've had relations with before, before yeah. uh, they would be like, hey, I'm in town. Like, you know, let's meet up. I'm like, I know exactly what we're going to be doing. I'm not interested in this. Right. Oh, yeah. I just, I'm not interested. And I'll be very honest with you because I'm not, but if I am I'm down for that. that time, then I'll be on, then that. I'll be on that time. Yeah. Just because, you know, I, I've got things going on too. And when I'm, yeah. especially during the week, I want to be in the house. Like Facts. I can care less about anything and everything that's going outside yeah. just because that, you know, my schedule is so tight and I work out so much that I'm like, I, it's it's my sanity time. For sure. I'm and the same way. I don't want to, you know, entertain anyone. I don't want to do nothing. Yeah, I get but, it. And, and that's one thing that sometimes I'm very honest with people. Yeah. And I've always said that it sometimes, again, bites me in the ass because I'm yeah. very, very honest. And I'll tell you how it is just because it's something that I had to practice to understand this is how I feel. Yeah. And now let me communicate that. Yeah. Or even like when you talk, when I talk to some guys, so then whatever dating or whatever, whatever we're trying to get to know each other, right. I don't like something. I'm literally going to express that. I'm going to say, this is what I don't like. And I don't know if this is going to go anywhere just because this is something I don't like. Like same example with the guy who took me on a trip and he said that I don't deal with, I don't take white women serious. <laughs> Trust me, we had a conversation about that. Yeah, that was that was, was crazy. Just because I said, listen, this is a very disrespectful thing to say because the reality is I have I am from Russia, yeah. but at the end of the day I look white. Yeah, and but you, you ain't white known. though. You Russian. You it's different. Right. But you've I, known I know how I history. look like. Yeah. Yeah, you look white, but you ain't. You you've known how I look like. You know, you know, you've asked about me because we've never met before that, right? right. Like it was the first time we met. Yeah, I went straight on a trip. Yeah. Woo. He f- it up. Again, because I was very honest. Yeah. He was he was coming to Atlanta and I was like, I don't want to see you. I want to go on a trip. Oh shit. That's how I was. I, I f- that was with it. that was my boundary. I said, <laughs> I don't have time to just hang out with you. <laughs> I want to go on a trip. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, that. Like, that's how I am. If someone is saying, oh, like, come see me, I'm like, do you want my information? <laughs> Buy my flight. Oh, and if shit. they're not about it, they're not about it. Like, nothing is going to change my way. Okay, and I get that, too, because I don't buy nobody no flight. Because... I'm the one. Like you, 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 you. That's how you feel. That's how I feel about me too. That's what I'm saying though. So we, if it ain't mutual like that, we don't need to be talking because yeah. I'm not a n- 
chasing nothing. So you're going to like me just as much as I like you. So you better get your ass here. You're going to be taken care of when you're here. But I ain't no, hey, baby, you can't afford to get here? Then I'm cool. Like, I ain't, this ain't no, I'm chasing after you. We chasing after each other. We're going to enjoy each other. So if you can't pay for your own weight to get here, then that's a problem to me. Because once you get here, you ain't got to worry about nothing. I, I weigh on that because it's like, Damn, baby, you you don't even know me like that. Are you that. gonna get her a hotel if she's asking for it? Or yeah, not? If she want a hotel, but most likely, she, where she her hotel is the, my room. She in here with me with the guy. What the fuck you need a hotel for? What we if she the, comes and then we in the condo, standing up on the balcony, foot so, on the rail? So what if she comes here? Because at the end of the day, she's buying her own flight, right? right. So it's on her terms now. For for sure, always it's on her terms. Always right? on and on top of that, that's really considered sex trafficking when you pay for somebody's flight to meet you for and you have sex. Okay. So that's already a law that you got to think yeah. about that too. But go ahead. But so let's say that she's here and then she's kind of like, ah, man, you know, this guy looks really hot, but like I just don't like his philosophy on life. I right. Don't, I don't, I don't f with him. Uh huh. Are you gonna? I'm gonna take care of everything. So listen, I'm a man. I got. I love my mom. I got nieces. I love my aunties. My grandma is my one of my highest. You know, people I held in the highest regard. Mm-hmm. I respect women the highest level, no matter what going on. Even if they get crazy, I'm always treating them respect. If you come to my home and it's something ain't right, you're gonna be good. Yeah. I get your Uber, get your. I'm not going. In the end of the day, let's keep it real. I'm not no idiot. Ain't going to jail for no dummery. If I be like, get out of my house and you send her to the street, what? You going to prison, buddy? No, no. It's any type of like that. I'm going to get your hotel. I'm going to get your Uber. You're going to be taken care of for sure. Yeah. But have that ever happened in my life? I'm 42. It never, ever happened. Yeah. How you not going to come in here and not indulge in the glory and you with me one-on-one? You get all this good talk, philosophy. We talk about architecture. We talking about goddamn movies. We talking about everything. That is going to be damp on entry. You hear me? So I ain't never lost with that. Now, how never did you will. get to that confidence level? It, it comes from God. Like, I truly think so. Because I was like this in third grade. You know what I mean? I was getting girls like this to give me cars and stuff. When I got to seventh grade, I was exactly like this. People know me from seventh grade. I looked the same. I wore. I always had outfits. I was cool since seventh grade. I Did don't you know. grow up in a um, full household? Mom no, and dad? no, no, no. I was a, I was out fed to the wolves at like eight, nine. I was with grown people outside hustling, fighting, and doing crazy stuff. So I was raised by the streets. Mm-hmm. So like it wasn't. I did get love though from like my aunties, but whenever I love you shit, it was just I knew they was there for me. So I was always a super intellectual, watch science, you know, channel and Discovery Channel and Animal Play. I was looking at different stuff since a kid. Mm-hmm. I wasn't doing kid. So I understood, you know, I mean, like being a man, you had to have certain things. So I prayed for two things as a kid to make sure I was good for the rest of my life. You want to know what those two things is? My audience probably know. You want to guess what two things I prayed for to God to give me? If I got these two things from him, I'm good for the rest of my life because I'm going to get the rest. What you think those two things was? I can't. There's. You got to tell me. To be 6'6", six, six, like Michael Jordan. <laughs> right? Because that was my favorite guy. How tall am I? 6'6". Six, six. And have a big 10-inch girth. How did you know that at 8 years old? Because what I knew was girls were making fun of guys when they do like hide and go get it. You don't even know how you think grown at eight. Let me tell you something, though. So, I, like I said, I'm smart. I'm already ahead of the curve. So, I'm knowing when girls is playing with boys and all that, they flirting. They're like, oh, he got a little. That's they roast you if you got a little. So, I'm like, damn, I can't be having no little. I can't do nothing about that. So, I got to be tall, have a bit. I can handle the rest. So, once I knew I had that, it was over with. But that's a on a physical side confidence. Right. But what about the internal that's confidence? That's what I'm saying. So, I knew if I had those two things, I'm going to be good. Everything else I could earn. Internally, I, I was always a handsome guy. Like, I, I look glasses all, I'm handsome. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was always a good-looking guy. Girls always loved me. I always was funny. I always could fight. I was always had all those attributes. So I never lacked in confidence ever. No, I never got teased. I never, nothing. I always was a cool person. So you got 6'6", six, six and you got... Yeah, I, I knew that by my okay. senior year of so high school. So then, then then, you still have to strive for more, right? So right. what do you pray for my now? My ambition was unlimited, like a buffet. What do you pray for now? How do you... I, I pray for happiness. I pray for health. Everything else, I'm going to do it. Just uh, guide me along the way, God, because I'm going to wake up 5 a.m., I'm hit cold plunge, I'm going to hit the gym, I'm going to eat right, drink my sea moss, I'm going to eat my, you know what I'm saying, food, I got my meal prep, I don't drink, no smoke, never have in my life. I got no baby mamas, I don't make mistakes. I'm a different breed of human. I'm dedicated to glory. They're going to make a statue of me when I'm gone. That's what I'm on. I'm on internal legendariness. I'm not here to be regular in no shape, form, or fashion. I am one of them ones. That's what says behind you. That's my design. I'm not no regular mortal. I didn't make it in sports because I wouldn't have a voice. Them niggas ain't got no voice. They run up and down the court. They fucking rich slaves. And shout out to them. I fuck with them. But do they got a voice like me? No. 
I am a reason for people to do a lot of things. I'm a reason for people starting their clothing line, starting their podcast, starting yeah. YouTube as a black man for the inner city. They never seen nothing like me before. So I already had this. Shit. I just gave it to the world. So I don't pray. So, I don't so, beg so, God for nothing. He gave me everything I asked for. Just keep me healthy. Keep me positive and happy. I got the rest. I just like the fact that you came from the streets where you could have gone completely different route. And then you got to where you are. Yeah, it's a blessing. And it is a blessing, and it's something that, and that's what I always say about man, that if a man wants, he always would. Yeah, but everybody and, don't got those those emeralds. Right, and that's where it's, if you really want something, you can work. Hell for, yeah, that's the can, best way to get it. Yeah. It's called uh, delayed gratification. I always thought I was this guy. I didn't get success to s four years ago. I'm 42. So imagine this whole time I'm this confident, this legendary guy having all these beautiful yeah. women, but poor, still struggling. You know what I mean? Sleeping in the basement seven years ago. You know what I mean? But still had all the women because I still was this guy. Money didn't make or break me. Mm -hmm. Money made it worse for me. Now women expect some money and my this is my work for it. Yeah. How I'm going to do for you when I got to do for my mom? I just met you last week. You asked for something that I could give to my mom. You out your mind? You want a flight to me when I could get this to my mom? You want a dinner with me? I get this to my mom. And you coming up, I'm f***ing the shit out of you. I got the 10-incher. I'm the fly. You ain't looking better. Let's take our clothes off. Who look better? Me. You winning. So at what point are you going to give her something? When she my woman. When she my when woman, she, she mine. It's whatever. Yeah. We living life. Yeah, and that's. I think that's also why I've always been this person where I never felt right to ask for things from men. Right. Just because at the end of the day, like it's not their responsibility to support me. Right. Right. And I'm not looking for a savior. Right. And but if they chasing after you, they should. If they're, yeah. If yeah. they're chasing, absolutely. You know when to shoot it. If a and he ain't, and he ain't that fine. He ain't, hey man, pay for this. You should. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You, I'm not your league. Yeah. You got to pay to get in this league. Yeah. Simple as, and, and I get girls. I'm never, I don't f go diggers. Of course not. Yeah. But I'm not mad at them for what they do. But don't oh, yeah. dare to come to me with that. You should be paying me. I'm the yeah. A side. It, that's, and I think that's what I figured too, is that I don't want to lose respect to a man just because he's putting up. Because if I tell you, get the flight, get, then you're going to do it for another girl. Of you're going to keep doing it it's for. It's nothing to a lot of guys, but I stand on different type yeah. of principles. I'm not here just trying to expedite it. I don't want all that talk. You are square to me. You're going to have to can do right around here i'm not i don't we could take the long route i'm not waiting i i got plenty of other like a seven days a week so if i want to her and she want to take her time that's fine my still gonna be drenched in this over here i'm not gonna lose regardless and then when i and then if you want to play the long route all you gonna do is like me more and by the time i drop that god up in you now you really fucked up because now you really like me i done gave you some conversations and i dropped this holy water up in you but now you fucked up you should have me didn't like me this much. You gonna be in pure I love. I am someone who can give the review. There's <laughs> plenty of them. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna do it on camera. Somebody, this actually just happened <laughs> on one of my other podcasts. I do right. Shout out to Ra. Like one of her friends ended up. I messed with her a long time ago because I talked this shit and she be like, I have to find out. And one of her friends called her and like, Hey, listen, it's legendary. What he's saying <laughs> is true. He's the best ever. Leave him the fuck alone. Like he may be talk crazy. But it's ridiculous. And it's always going. I'm the best Did in history. Did she go back for another one? And they always come back. Every woman always come back to me. They yeah. would never, because it's not only am I dropping slammer, but look at the charisma. I'm pulling yeah. up. I'm that nigga for real. And I'm. you ain't going to never find this with this complete package ever. It's difficult. Right. It's so like, difficult. and I don't mean to be so abrasive, but it's just who I am. You know what I mean? And I live within who I am. And well, I you have win to some, accept who you are. And I win some, I lose some sometimes. Because, you know, reality is hard for people to, you know, grass when you talk like this boisterous. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't give a because I'm I didn't <laughs> I'm gonna win. It's plenty of women that love it more. Yeah. When I talk this crazy, people would think that I get less women. I I did. I got way more because they respect their pureness. I I can't. You respect see you, the pureness. Yeah, I can't okay. see you getting less women just because you have confidence or yeah, the I, way and you I get talk. it. And I, and I and I'm not. I don't try to degrade nobody or pull nobody down with my glory of pulling myself up. So people miss that part. They just feel like I'm shitting everybody else because I'm bigging myself up. I'm just blessed and happy. You're not talking about... Uh, and, and here's the thing. If, if you get offended by something that you say, right. then you know it's a trigger point. Right. So that's something you have to address. Yeah. Because there's certain things that are going to be said and then you're like, oh my God, this is really hitting home. Right. And then you really need to be like, okay... 
there's something that's happening that sure. I really need to figure out. And, because and it hurts. It hurts. And I'm here to to keep those guys that was like me, the the, the kids that believe in themselves or the person that's on the verge of not believing himself, I'm the person they to see, like, I'm going to be like organic. I can believe in myself, work hard, never give up, don't give a fuck. I could be glorious. Yeah. Um, And that's what I'm here for. They don't got, I know I'm 6'6", 230 in shape and all that, but I'm not an athlete, right? I mean, I did play at a high level, but I didn't make my money from it. Right. So kids can look at me and they could be like me. That's a lot easier than being 6'6", 230 with a killer instinct and trying to make it to the NBA. That's 1% of humans that ever walked earth. You're not going to do that. But I could pick yeah. up my phone. I could vlog. I could talk in front of a podcast. They could be like three of them. They could have their own clothing line. They could be like me. You see what I'm saying? So I'm in a bigger, I got a bigger job out here than people really understand. And I know that and I move with that purpose. So that's why I come so hard because I want them people to watch me like, okay, we're getting on. I'm going to go be like, we're getting. I do that for a reason and I mean it. I move with a purpose. And when I die, it's going to be, it's going to be some documentaries about what I've done. I promise that. And I move with that purpose, and I always will. But other than that, hey, I appreciate this conversation. It's been legendary. You know what I'm saying? You're a special woman. I like everything <laughs> about you. You know what I'm saying? I like my whites with the blonde hair and blue eyes. I got to have the Hitler whites. You know what I'm saying? I want Hitler to be mad. Like, God damn it, how this black bucket? Yeah, I'm up in it. Slow they get, stroke they of get mad about me being around black That's men. the ones I want. Oh, my God. I don't want you whites walking around listening to me. Uh, Gucci man and listen, you know, in the car turning up, goddamn, who they like right now? I don't know who name me a rapper. I don't know Travis Scott. I don't know yeah, Travis Scott. Uh, he tight white. We don't know him. I'm talking some hood shit. Uh, one of them hood <laughs> niggas. All right, you know what I'm saying? I want a pure, good European white with the blonde hair and blue eyes to make them mad at me. Then the ones I want that wear little skirts and shit like that, play tennis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, that's what I got. Hard to find. <laughs> Hard to find, but I found it. One of the ones. But okay, you know, tell them your Instagram. Tell them how to contact you. You know what I'm saying? And you need to get on more podcasts, start your own podcast and all that. You know what I'm saying? Give them that information here. This is organic. Chelsea speaking. London, S-Y-A for Chelsea. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram. That's probably the, the platform where I'm on. I don't yeah. really... I don't be anywhere else right now, but it's in the future. OnlyFans, what's the OnlyFans? They want to beat the shit too. Uh, there no, is no. <laughs> they want to squeeze exist. Why? It doesn't exist. Okay. I'm not going to tell you my LinkedIn. I'm not going to share all that stuff. Unless they got, well, they got the bread, don't say. They want to get a little extra for it. <laughs> oh, you want to send my cash app? Chelsea hey, London? tell them the cash app. Tell them the cash app. Tell them. Chelsea London, same as Instagram name. Do you send, know people, send that's, it my way. Is that a good way to get at you sometimes? They'll be like, hey, cash app you a thousand. What's up, baby? I know you can cash app me a thousand. That's absolutely it's, right. Is that a good way to get to it's you? Good to, it will definitely get my I attention. I think so. Girl, come on, baby. Let me work it. It, it will get my attention. You know what I'm saying? You know. A thousand, and that's a good number? <sighs> Shit. I, just don't do like no 20 bucks. Like none of <laughs> <laughs> Do something that's going to be useful for me, where I can go get zeros. dinner because he doesn't want to take me out to I'm dinner. I'm going to take it to dinner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got me last time with the mariachi because I went to dinner. They saw I was flying. I thought it was part of the damn meal. I, I keep breaking it up. Niggas are, okay, the mariachi, they, can we get a tip? Hey, man, I'd ask for you. They got to be careful, but yeah, yeah. Pay for my flight because, again, doesn't want to pay for my yeah, flight. Baby, yeah, pay for her flight to pay me, Pay for, nigga. yes. Pay this for, for my flight. If you come see me, go, let him get the flight. <laughs> Sneak to come see me. There we go. Yeah. Hey. I will accept that. Um, For sure. If you seriously want to date me, then come on I don't now. know. I think it's a different conversation as far as the cash app and all that. Right. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think I want you to be doing cash apps. That's, yeah, you that's, trying to expose yourself type. Yeah, it's just... Um, because again, I think you'd be doing it to every single person. Yeah. Like you, you, you got you've got the confidence. I've got the confidence yeah, we got too. It. And I'm 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 a firm believer that I'm also very unique. Very, you are, you are, and I give you that. I don't try to pull nobody down and pull myself up. But at the same time, baby, you f the money. Don't tell them that you don't. They, it's cool. I uh, know. Come I on, trust, let's yeah, go. you a 10, good date. So here's the thing, guys. Yeah, come on, come on. The max I've ever had was 10k. So who can who up that? Beat the who can beat that? No, I, I never see. had any bags given to me. Never nothing. had a Louis. I don't have. I don't have no diamonds. She ain't Van Cleef up or nothing. No, I don't have Van Cleef. Who gonna nothing. get her right? Yeah, go get me right. Show off, man. Who yeah. want to win the prize, man? Yeah, and if you're like a designer brand, you want to sponsor me, please go ahead. Come on, man. Who want to throw her in some Louis and some goddamn Louis? How you said Louis? Yeah, Louis, take Louis. Me on a I've never even been taken on a shopping spree. Get, take, take on 
Hey, stop, Spree. Y'all some cheap oh, bastards. No, no, drive me in a Lambo. I don't, I've been in a Lambo twice, maybe. Okay, my get a look. You be in Aston when you leave here. That's cool. Sure. Aston Martin. Okay, you don't drive me when you leave here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can do that. <laughs> no, sir, but listen up. Shout out to everybody rocking with the campaign. This is Organically Speaking. Make sure you go to OrganicLifestyle.com. I gave you that jersey, didn't I? Yes. Okay, yes, yeah, you got one of the one to ones jersey. Make sure you go get it now. You know, I drop new collections every two months. Make sure you'll get the sea moss. You see, you see my face on there, right? It was so good. Was it oh good? Oh my god, baby? it was amazing. Did you enjoy my nutrients? Yes, mm. I feel great. You feel good now that that went inside you. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Huh? You want more? <laughs> I'll take a jar. <laughs> <laughs> I got a jar, baby. And my name is Jarvis. I got a whole jar for you. <laughs> but all right, guys, comment below. You rock with the campaign. Tell a friend to tell a friend. This is Mr. Organic. This is organically speaking. I'm out.